Hi, welcome to another Maths DVD tutorial. This is the first in a series of four DVD tutorials under a section titled Financial Mathematics. In today's lesson, we are going to be going through the basic definitions and concepts pertinent to financial maths. In terms of what you need to know, you need to be familiar with your grade 10 work on financial maths, you need to be able to comfortably plug values into a formula, and I'd also recommend you go through the section we've included called Converting Words to Numbers. Let us now look at three definitions that are vital to financial maths. The first one is interest. Interest is basically the amount that you charge a person for the use of your money. Present value. Present value is the value of your money today. Future value is the value of your money after a specified period. Let us look at an example. You lend your friend 200 Rand and you charge him 10%. At the end of the first year, your future value is going to equal 220 Rand. Why? Because your present value was 200 Rand, the money that you lent him. You charged him 10% interest 10% of 200 Rand is equals to 20 Rand. That 20 Rand is what you charged him for using your money. At the end of the first year, he owes you 220 Rand, which is your present value plus the interest component. Before we progress further into financial maths, let us take a closer look at interest. There are two different types of interest, the first being simple interest and the other being compound interest. We are first going to take a look at simple interest. Simple interest is the interest charged only on the present value. Let me use an example to illustrate that. You, you are going to lend to your friend 200 Rand and they are going to pay you back at the end of 3 years. You charge them 10% simple interest. 10% of 200 Rand is 20 Rand. That means that per year of them using your money, they are going to pay you 20 Rand. At the end of 3 years, they are going to have to pay you 60 Rand for the use of your money, as well as the 200 Rand that you lent them. That means that your future value is going to be 260 Rand. Let us use that concept to derive a standard formula which we can use whenever we are working with calculations that involve simple interest. Future value, which we know is 260 Rand, is equals to 200 Rand, which is our present value, plus 20 Rand, which is our interest for the first year, plus 20 Rand, our interest for the second year, plus 20 Rand, our interest for the third year. That equals to 200 plus 200 times 10% plus 200 times 10% plus 200 times 10 percent. Written differently, that's 200 plus 3 times 200 times 10 percent. Now 200 is a common factor, we can take it out. 200 open bracket 1 plus 3 times 10 percent close bracket. Written differently, 200 is our present value, open bracket, 1 is 1, plus 3 is our n, number of years, times i, which is our interest, or future value is equals to present value, open bracket, 1 plus interest, times the number of years, close bracket. Now let us take a closer look at compound interest. 
Compound interest is slightly different from simple interest in that with compound interest our interest is not charged only on our present value but rather on the value of our money after each consecutive compounding period. What do I mean by that? Let us look at that example that we used for simple interest except let's imagine that we lent out the money at 10% per annum compounded once a year. At the end of the first year your friend would owe you 220 rand 10% on the present value 200 rand. At the end of the second year the interest you are charging your friend is not on the 200 rand but rather on the value of the money at the end of the first year. The money was valued at 220 rand at the end of the first year which means that you are going to be charging your friend 10% on 220 rand. 10% 10 of 220 rand is equal to 22 rand which means that for the second year the interest you are charging is 22 rand. That means that at the end of the second year your 200 rand present value is now worth 242 rand. At the end during the third year the interest you are charging is 10% of 242 rand which is equals to 24 rand 20. That means for year 3 the interest you're charging is equals to 24 rand 20. So let's just go through this again. The interest you charged your friend in the first year was no different from simple interest, it was 20 rand. During the second year it was 22 rand and during the third year it was 24 rand 20. Which means that at the end of the three years if you lent the money out at 10% per annum compounded once a year your money would be worth 266 rand 20. Slightly more than the simple interest, isn't it? By applying that concept, we come to the following formula. Future value is equals to present value times by 1 plus i over m to the power n m. FV is for, stands for future value, PV is present value, 1 is still 1, I is our interest rate which is 10% or 0, 0,1, M is the number of compounds per year. Now remember this, number of compounds per year in this example was 1. So, it read future value is equals to present value of 200 rand open bracket 1 plus our interest is 10% or 0, 0,1 over m which is just 1 in this example to the power n m n always denotes the number of years in this case it's 3 years times by m which is again the number of compounds per year which is 1. So we left with 200 open bracket 1 plus 0.1 to the power 3 and that will give you an answer of 266 rand 20 cents. Now let us do a quick recap of the formula that we've covered so far. For simple interest the formula was future value is equals to present value times by 1 plus interest times number of years. When we have compound interest future value is equals to present value times by 1 plus interest divided by number of compounds per year to the power number of years multiplied by number of compounds per year.
Let us go through a few basic examples to become better acquainted with using financial maths formula. Example 1. You have 100 Rand to invest in a fixed deposit earning an interest rate of 15% per annum simple interest. What will the value be after 10 years? Now this is a simple interest calculation hence we are going to use the formula that involves simple interest. Future value is equals to present value open bracket 1 plus i times n close bracket. Our present value is 100 ren. 1 plus our interest is 0 0.15 times number of years which is 10. That means that it's going to be 100 times by 1 plus 1 1.5 which is equals to 100 times 2.5 which is equals to 250 rand. Example 2. Let us use the same example as example 1 except let's convert it to compound interest compounded once a year. So we have 100 rand in an investment paying out 15% per annum compounded once a year for 10 years. Compound interest, hence we're going to use the formula future value is equal to present value times by 1 plus i over m to the power nm, which is equal to 100 times by 1 plus 0.15 over 1 to the power 10 times 1, which is equal to 100 times by 1.15 to the power 10, which is equal to 404 ren. 0.5557736 and that continues. Now because it's financial maths we are going to round off to the nearest cent which is going to equal 404 rand 56 cents. That is what our money is going to be worth at the end of 10 years if it is compounded once a year. Example 3. Now in this example let us try and manipulate the formula if we have the future value, we have the present value and we have the interest rate. Let us see if we can calculate the time. How long would it take to double 80,000 Rand if interest earned is 16% per annum simple interest? Because it's simple interest we're going to be using the formula future value is equals to present value times by 1 plus i times n. Before we plug any values in let us first manipulate the formula. 1 plus i times n remember we're trying to work out n the number of years so let us try and make that the subject of the formula. 1 plus i times n is going to equal future value divided by present value. That means that i n i times n is equals to future value over present value minus 1. That means that n is equals to future value over present value minus 1 all of that divided by interest. Future value is remember I said it's 80,000 Rand we want to double that means that future value is 160,000 Rand divided by present value 80,000 Rand minus 1 over 0 0.16 which is going to equal 2 minus 1 over 0 0.16 which is 1 divided by 0 0.16 which is going to equal 6.25 years. That means that we need 6 and a quarter years to double our money at that interest rate or 6 years and 3 months. Example 4. In this example we're going to be looking at compound interest that is compounded more than once a year. So far all of the examples we have looked at have all been compounded once a year. Let us look at this example. We want to have 500,000 Rand at the end of 10 years. We can, invest in, we can invest in a fixed deposit yielding 16% per annum compounded quarterly. 
how much should we invest today? Because it's compound interest, we're going to be using the formula future value is equals to present value times by 1 plus i over m to the power nm. Again, I'm going to begin by manipulating my formula. Present value, which is what we're looking for, is equals to future value divided by 1 plus i over m to the power nm. Future value is equals to 500,000 divided by 1 plus interest 16% or 0.16 divided by number of compounds per year, which is 4 to the power nm, n is 10 years times by number of compounds per year m which is 4. So we have 500,000 Rand divided by 1 plus 0.16 over 4 to the power 40 which is equals to 500,000 Rand divided by 4.8 which is equals to 104,000 Rand 144 and 52 cents. That is the amount that we need to invest in order to get 500,000 Rand back at the end of 10 years in an investment yielding 16% per annum compounded quarterly. That brings us to the end of the first tutorial on financial maths. Please go through the entire exercise in the workbook before progressing on to the next tutorial.